Hi there, I'm Chris May, host of This Day in Weather History, a podcast from the Weather Network. And it was on this day, well, kind of on this day, (laughs) we're sort of in the middle of a three-day event that slammed into B.C. Snow, strong wind. On the 15th, leveling 40 centimeters on the city of Vancouver. Uh, Wind gusts were anywhere between 90 and 135 kilometer per hour gusts. Now, those are hurricane forts and those are on Howe Sound. So there was already a ton of snow that was down on the ground. It was in over a matter of days. Now you had thousands and thousands of people through Vancouver's lower mainland and out on the island who were without power. At one point, 4,000 BC Hydro customers were without power in the Comox Valley. 1,300 were in the dark in the province's capital of Greater Victoria. As, as a side story, but a nice side story, Chris St. Clair from the Weather Network was on his way out to visit our BC correspondent, Mia Gordon, and we're going to work this storm together. They, it took them days before they could even meet up because of how bad the conditions were. It closed schools. It closed universities. It had to close parts of uh, several roads. It was impossible to get to school, even if kids wanted to. The snow was so deep, and the ice, because of some areas where it had mixed, was so slippery and so deep itself. BC ferries had to cancel two uh, round-trip passes between Horseshoe Bay and Departure Bay because of those strong winds. And then the city of Vancouver had to kick into action. They needed to send out and they did, 40 to 50 snow removal machines because on the 15th was the heavy snow, the 16th it was starting to transition over and the forecast for the 17th was heavy rain. Everything happened during this three-day period that we cut into the middle of this day in weather history.